So we are Wolf Sanctuary of PA. Uh, we've been here since 1980 and we're a nonprofit rescue facility. Um, we seek to provide a home, a lifelong safe haven for wolves and wolf dogs who have been displaced from household settings and also from other zoos or sanctuaries that had to close down. Years ago, when we became a rescue originally in, in the 1980s, we got all the permits we needed to get up to standard with the state and federal government, and those included permits to breed. Now, some of the wolves, like those you see behind me, were born here years ago, but about seven or eight years ago, we made the choice to no longer allow breeding here. Any of our incoming rescues are spayed or neutered so that we can um, ensure we can provide um, the best quality of care for all of our rescues and also provide a home for incoming rescues as we continue to get phone calls. We currently have about 46 wolves total, and that number kind of fluctuates as uh, we have an aging population. Again, a lot of the ones who were born here are getting up there. Wolves' lifespan can be about um, seven in the wild. Here at the sanctuary, they live anywhere from 13 to almost 18 years old. Um, so Tayoga is going to have his 11th birthday in April. He came here with his whole family of timber wolves. Timber wolf is a subspecies of gray wolf. Um, it's also the subspecies that would have been in Pennsylvania 100 years ago. Um, as I said, a lot of our wolves, you know, they age and pass on. Unfortunately, Tioga's family has since aged and passed on, but he's still here with us. Um, when he arrived, he was actually only two weeks old. He was a small young pup, um, and he He's also one of the more social wolves that we have. Uh, he likes interacting with people because he's been interacting with people since he was a puppy. This May 6th from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m., it's called Spring into Wolf Awareness. We'll offer self-guided tours of the sanctuary. Guides will be stationed at each pack, much like where I'm standing, um, in between the fences, and guests can visit. Um, you get to see a little over half of the wolves, as with our public tours, um, stopping at each enclosure to hear the stories and uh, ask questions as, as they wish. We we offer some uh, a few food vendors. We have educational games and activities for children, and we also have face painting as well. Um, and the gift shop will be open from that time as well. So again, that's 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And all of our tour proceeds from that day, as well as any other tours, go 100% directly towards helping the wolves. So.